welcome to map tv please do subscribe to our channel for more videos click on the bell button hi if this is your first time of coming to map tv please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so when next to post the video you'll be the first to get alerted if you've done that already thank you so much Obiwana Okeke, the Nigerian entrepreneur, is arrested by the operatives of the Federal Bureau of Investigation (FBI) on the last day of his visit to the United States in August. Pleaded not guilty to the two-count charge of wire and computer fraud at the commencement of his trial on Monday, September 16, 2019. The Nigerian businessman was arraigned in court by 2 p.m. a week after being indicted by a federal gr ground jury which examined evidence gathered by the FBI and presented by the United States Department of Justice. Ruling on the case on the first day of trial, U.S. Magistrate Douglas Miller ordered that Mr. Okeke be remanded in prison custody until February 18, 2020, while also describing the fraud case as complex. The trial of the Forbes 30 under 30 entrepreneur accused of orchestrating the theft of $11 million from a foreign subsidiary of American heavy equipment manufacturer Caterpillar is expected to continue on the announced date. The Nigerian businessman who was marked as a flight risk by U.S. authorities reportedly waived his right to speedily trial on the first day of his arraignment. It was reported earlier that Mr. Okeke would have to face up to 30 years in prison if convicted as the ground jury which indicted him also recommended that he should be made to forfeit at least 11 million dollars in cash and asset or both if found guilty if convicted it is also expected that he will forfeit the emerald court engagement ring found with him when he was arrested there's no new case it's about obi-wan okike who was arrested by the fbi which has linked up the whole of arrest in nigeria and other african countries because it's a complex fraud and it is said to be um, a network of fraud that amounts to be the biggest in the history of fraud that is in the United States of America. So these people who goes by the name or aka Yahoo Boys who knows how to tension people in the airways, I think their water has been filled and it's about time that uh, the justice or um, yes has to take his course on them i don't know what you think about this guy who is he's already remanded in prison according to the news reaching us and he will be there till february 8 10 2020 that's about a few months from now before next trial is going to actually take place so what do you think he's already in custody or in prison and um, 30 years away it's and I think this try is actually going to take a while because they said it's a complex one so time will also be invested in making sure that justice is duly served and as much as this guy actually pleaded not guilty so I don't know what you think whatever you think about this issue that's been trending please just put down on the comment section below and um, if this is your first time of coming to mob tv please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so when next we post the video you'll be the first to get alerted what do you think your voice does actually count do not be an echo be a voice bye for now